This demo shows how to configure and get diagnostic information from a heart device using Rocco Automation's Plant PAX Asset Management. This heart demo has engineering workstations connected via Ethernet IP to the controller chassis. The chassis is connected to a heart pressure transmitter using a 16-point heart I.O. module. This example uses Ethernet IP and heart to connect to the instrument. The Plant PAX system can connect to many devices on many protocols, including Foundation Fieldbus, Profibus PA, and DeviceNet. To start this demonstration, launch the FactoTalk Asset Center client. Once the software application opens, set up the DTM network by selecting DTM networks from the task pull-down on top of the screen. After selecting and highlighting the host PC, Select Add DTM on the right and see the list of column DTMs appear. Select RSLink's Backplane DTM and select OK. Select the IP address of the chassis that the hard I.O. will reside in. And select OK and then Next. We will now set up the comms DTM for the hard I.O. module. After selecting the comms DTM in the tree and selecting add DTM again, this will open up the DTM list. This time select the 1756 DTM, select OK, and set the slot number to 3. Select OK with the heart I.O. module highlighted. You can now select scan module. Select only heart channel 0 since the pressure device is on channel 0 and select OK. The scan should produce a new device found and this can confirm by selecting OK. The screen shows that the new device matches the DTM that is provided from the manufacturer. Notice the hierarchy that this view gives the user from top host PC all the way down through the comms DTM down to the device DTM. The path setup is now complete. Close the DTM network window. Now is the time to set up the operation side of the configuration. The user will set up the tree on the left to organize and access the configuration and device information. Here we previously created items in the tree. In particular, we added FT heart as an item which we want to represent the pressure transmitter for the demo. Design mode is needed to add or modify the tree. Select Design button on the top of the tree. Next, right click the FT Heart item and select Properties. A Properties window will appear where addressing info will be used to link the DTM networks to this item. Once the link is made, you can select OK to close. Highlight the FF Heart item in the tree and select the DTM view mode on top middle of the screen. This will launch the pressure transmitter's DTM. In order to go online with the device, you select online and the current status will change from offline to online. Notice that you can upload or download configuration data to the devices. This is for maintenance purposes. In order to see online configuration, you select open. The DTM is open and online with the device. Data will update. Without pressure on the device, an output current will be approximately 4 milliamps. In this case, we'll show 3.995. The measured value shows 0 psi. Currently, the scaling the transmitter is 0 to 10 psi. We first change the upper range value to 12 psi and press the Enter key. Then, to simulate an error, we will change the lower value to 1 and press the Enter key. The current output is out of range as it occurs. This is an easy way to simulate an error. This all can be done remotely or from a location of your laptop. This eliminates the need for physical access to the device or someone being right next to it. When doing an FAT or IO test, you can use the simulate mode to put the device into pressure, current, or alarm simulation. To test the connections from the device to your HMI, this is critical. This can aid pre-testing and troubleshooting. If you are in simulate mode, the error will show simulate and not OK. When completed with the simulate, it is a good idea to verify that simulation is disabled. 
Under device data, the tag number or tag name, description, and date can be set. The date is important to document when someone has last installed or changed configuration in the device. It also provides information on when the system was last calibrated. When everything is okay with the device, it says no error. To conclude this, you will close the DTM and exit Asset Center. This demo shows how to configure and access diagnostics from devices using Plant PAX Asset Management. For more information, go to www.fdtgroup.org or www.rockautomation.com/process. Thank you.